Hey dads, are you looking for an external hard drive to store all your computer junk on? Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the hard drives that I like because uh, being making YouTube videos, uh, I need a lot of storage space, so I figured I would uh, give my review of a, f of a couple that I've used. Uh, but first of all, hi to all the new dads here. Uh, this is Dad Reviews. I try to give as authentic of a review as I can for you guys uh, out there by not editing these videos. So you get a very real uh, review here. So if you're into that, uh, click. I'd love it if you click that subscribe button. Um, so today, I have, uh, I've got two of the same brand and then I have another brand that I've used before. By the way, I'll link all these up down in the description below. Uh, let's start off with the one that I, I like, but I, it's got a better thing. So we have this, this is a, a Western Digital, no, this is a Seagate hard drive. And um, this is a four terabyte hard drive. What I don't like about it is that it comes with a power plug. And, uh, but it does have, USB 3 uh, plugs for it, so the transfer is super fast. Uh, I do like that it's four terabytes, which is quite a bit. Um, you know, you have lots of storage space with four terabytes. Um, but uh, I, I, the reason why I don't like the power plug is because sometimes I'll be sitting at a table, I have my computer on the table, and then I'll plug in to the wall, which is like the table's right there. So uh, I'll get up and I'll accidentally trip over that and then the hard drive will fall down and uh, this, act, this hard drive is actually partially ruined. If I have it laying down like this, it doesn't work. But if I stand it up like this, it does work. It's the craziest thing. So uh, I'm trying to eliminate hard drives with power adapters. The only reason why they're good, I guess, is because they're, uh, they, uh, you can usually, if for some reason, you can get more storage for a, a better price. The other option is, <coughs> excuse me, something a little more compact, and it doesn't use the, uh, the power cord on it, and it's this here. This is a Western Digital. This is a two gig or a four gig? I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't say. It's a my the my passports. What I like about this is that they're small. I mean that fits in the palm of my hand. So uh, if I'm traveling or something like that, I can slip it into my uh, my book sack or my electronic bag. It only has one cable, so you're not having to worry about two cables, the the USB cord and the power cord, which I, I like that a lot because it's USB three. It's super fast. Um, man, I really want to know how big this hard drive is now. Let me look. Real quick, I'm gonna plug this in. Uh, it spins up fairly quickly. I plugged it in, I've got a MacBook Pro here. Um, and that works uh, really well. It's got a little indicator light. I oh, can't see this, can y'all? Come on, there it is. A little indicator light right there, so it lets you know uh, whenever it's reading it. Um, the other hard drive that I have here is this one here. It's an older one, it's only 500 gigs. It was one of my first hard drives. I think I won this one, actually. It's another Seagate which I think I prefer the Western Digital to the Seagate. By the way, that uh, Western Digital one is a four, four terabyte hard drive, so I can't remember what the price difference I paid was, but I'll link them both up down in the description on Amazon if you guys wanna go and check that out. Um, this one here, what I like about this one is that it's flat. This one would be good if, uh, if it would work laying down, but since it fell over and now it doesn't work like this, because every time I put it on the counter, I'd always have it like this and then it fell over that one time and uh, now it only works like this, which is very frustrating, but I like how flat this one is. Unfortunately, it does have a power cord that you need for it, so I don't like that. Another plus about this one, even they compensate for that, they have the little feet thing here is made so that this thing goes flat so that it can't like fall over or whatever. Um, so if I had to tell you to go with a hard drive, I'd tell you to go with something like this. This right here is uh, my favorite hard drive so far. And I've got a couple more over there. They're those My Book Western Digital. It's basically like the Western Digital version of these Seagate things. And uh, I just, I really like the compactness of this. You know, you can kind of hide it on a shelf or under, you can even Velcro it underneath a table or something like that. That way you don't even have to look at it or you could, might be a better idea to kind of like strap it in instead of just Velcro. But um, 
yeah, this is a, a great little hard drive and I, I really, really like. This has been my favorite one so far. Question of the day. What kind of hard drives do you guys use? Let me know that down in the comments below. And uh, I'd, I'd be curious to know, like, is there a size that you guys need? Is it like four terabytes is good for me, but is there, what, what are y'all's needs, I guess? That's what I want to know down in the, in the comments below. And a lot of great information comes from you guys down in the comments. So please leave your comments. Let's grow as a community as, of dads here and talk about uh, the things that we like. Also, if you have something that you want me to review, let me know that down in the comments below as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing if you want more of these authentic reviews from me. Um, thank you guys for watching. There's two more videos right there on the screen if you want to check those out. Definitely appreciate you watching more of our videos. And dad out!